Bye, everybody. Sorry, I'm uh, just kind of getting things together here because I'm a little, a little late to the game. Okay. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Um, to my mod team who is here tonight, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you guys um, for jumping in at the last minute uh, for, a, for a little impromptu. Um, if, if you have not seen the drama, um, fear not. You'll be in the loop by the end of this and hopefully have a chance to hear my side of the story um, because I'm human. And I'm not afraid to say that I, I screw some things up sometimes, guys. It's true, I do. Um, but I'm not a monster. So, uh, you know, I just want to kind of sit down and just give you guys my side of the story and tell you guys how I'm feeling. Um, I'm hurt and upset. <laughs> um, and I did my fair share of crying already. But I have a feeling at some point tonight, I will probably cry. So <laughs> when that gets awkward, let's just, we'll just kind of roll with that. Okay. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but yeah, when I'm angry, I cry. So that's, you know, that's reality and that's what's going to happen. So um, there's so much, there is so, so much to address here and I'm going to do the best I can to keep it together, to, to give you guys the, to give you guys the story the best I can, um, without name calling or name dropping, or, you know, I just, I want to be as candid with you as possible. Um, I think that the best thing that we can do as creators and as people is to admit that we are human and give you guys as much transparency and vulnerability as possible. And that's what I'm going to do here tonight. So <laughs> when I cry, not if I cry, just work with me there. Um, I know y'all are saying don't cry. Um, so because it is so late, I... I have been kind of scrolling through the comments and I've seen all of you guys and I, I know who's here and I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you because I'm not going to be able to kind of go back through and be like to say hello to all of you guys. So yeah, there's always two sides um, and everybody is convinced that theirs is the best one. And a lot of times the truth, honestly, it lies between the two and none of us are none of us are innocent here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be the first to say that because I'm a human being and yeah, like, and if I use cuss words, y'all, I'm sorry. I usually try not to, but like, I'm able to say at this point right now that there are times when I have effed up and I'm going to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you what I did, like, cause I'm not a jerk. Um, so I'm going to like go back to the very beginning with all of this stuff. So y'all are going to have to like bear with me. Okay. Because we're going all the way back. We're backtracking all the way to July. So um, in this, so there was a, just an FYI, there was a particular live that, um, that happened where um, people chose to address me publicly and, um, and express some thoughts and feelings about me publicly. And, um, you know, I was not given the courtesy of a conversation uh, directly to me. Um, it was just a public outcry. And I decided that I owe it not to them necessarily, but to you guys and to myself to finally just sit down and say, hey, here's where I screwed up. Here's where I have messed up in the past. Um, and to explain to you that I am not the sum of my mistakes. None of us are, um, because we're all human and we all make them. So yeah, um, I want to start really quickly by saying that toward the end of February, I do have a break for my shop that is scheduled. It has been scheduled for some time. I just haven't had the chance to tell you. 
I want you to know that that break has absolutely nothing to do with what we're going to discuss tonight. Um, my husband and I got married exactly a year ago on February 26th. So the last week of February, that weekend, we are going away for our one year anniversary. And we're going to spend some time together, some much needed time together. And I need a little break. So I am going to put the shop on vacation mode um, toward the end of February for just a week. And like I said, it has absolutely nothing to do with anything that's going on right now. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not shutting anything down. I'm not leaving you guys. I'm still here. So I wanted to start with that and just make sure that I address that fact, uh, because it's not shops, not going anywhere. I'm staying here. Um, you know, shops not going anywhere. And so it, I'm, I'm here. So yeah. Um, I need a break right now. I feel like I've been working like 80 plus hours. So I do think that at some point, you know, some changes are going to come to the shop. And I don't know if that means monthly drops, bi-weekly drops. Um, I'm just not sure. So stay tuned for that. And we'll discuss that later because tonight's not shop talk. It's, it's drama talk. And I'm just going to address it and address the things that people are saying about me. Because I'm tired and I, you know, I'm, I'm working really hard to do everything I can to provide a quality product and to provide very little quality content to you guys. Um, and so, and I miss, that's another thing I really miss is creating content. And I was actually talking with my friends about it the other day, but I was like, I miss doing whipping tags. I miss telling you guys what's going on in my life. So, um, and, you know, sharing that with you. So, and how oh, oh, I feel about it. Anyway, um, so, well, like I said, I want to start at the very beginning because I feel like that's kind of where everybody else started. So, I'm going to start there too. So, prior to ever opening a shop, dear Lord, putty. So, back in July of last year, I purchased, or June, maybe late June. Rhymes, what is time? <laughs> Maybe late June of last year, I had purchased some putty. And I got it home, and I was like, I don't feel granted. These were my opinions. These are not still my opinions. Can we just, let's hold on to that for a moment. Um, well, that's what I was going to say also um, that... I probably am not going to pay too much attention to the chat while I'm discussing this. I'm just going to kind of let my moderator handle things. If if anybody wants to come in and be a jerk, uh, live your life. Um, but when I bought this putty, I felt gypped. And I was like, this is not worth what I'm paying for it. And it made me mad. Um, instead of keeping my thoughts to myself, where I should get them, I can admit that. Um, I shared those thoughts with another creator that I thought was a close friend. And I shared that those thoughts with two other creators, actually. So there were two people that I shared these thoughts with and only two people. I did not share these thoughts with anyone else within the community. It was just these people and it was only two people. I shared those thoughts. I was, I was, mean. I was like a straight up bitch about it. I'm not going to lie. I shouldn't have said what I said. I said that the product was too expensive for what it is. Um, it pissed me off because there wasn't intent when the product was made. Um, because, that, like, I was just kind of angry, you know? And so, so, um, like I said, it was stupid. It was petty and dumb. Um, and I can admit that. Because it was stupid, like it was just dumb. It was dumb for me to be worried about it. But at the same time, I felt like there were a lot of people who had a veil over their eyes and were like, you know, this is homemade. And so when I decided that I wanted to figure out how to make it and share that fact with the community, that's where things blew up. So I just want to like, oof. so I made the mistake of sharing these thoughts negative thoughts, crappy thoughts, whatever. It was not intended to 
to take this person down, little this person to make them feel bad. I honestly never ever thought that this information would get back to said shop owner. That's all I'm going to say. Um, because I trusted the people that I was able to. Um, so moving forward, this friend and I who had shared these thoughts and opinions um, decided that we wanted to figure out how to make it. So this friend also, and this is a hard thing to explain, and I'm sorry, so just you guys to follow along with me, shared these thoughts and opinions with someone else in the community as well. So when the two people, so there's two people at the forefront, me and my friend who had these thoughts and feelings. I went to one person, she went to another. Well, the two people in the background decided to talk, and they realized that we were both saying these things and assumed they did not ask us. That's what I'm going to say. They did not ask us. They assumed that we were sharing these thoughts and these feelings with the entire community. And that was not the truth. We were sharing these thoughts and feelings with one person each. And then it just blew up in our faces. Was it stupid? Absolutely. Yeah. It was a stupid thing to do. Shouldn't have done that. I can admit it like it was stupid because not only was it a mean thing to say for myself, I can say that it was a shitty thing for me to say. It was also putting the person that I told it to into a position where she felt uncomfortable, right? Same thing goes for the other person who was behind the scenes. She was uncomfortable that me and my friend had these thoughts and these feelings about someone. They didn't tell us that at the beginning um, that they both felt uncomfortable. I didn't know that. I honestly didn't even realize that until it was too late. Um, so that being said, that's that's a thing that I shared. Okay. So that was my that was my mistake number one. And it was really the thing that set all of the rest of this in motion. Um, and like I said, it was a mistake and it was a stupid one, but it's what happened. So I'm not going to lie about it. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say like, do you have receipts? Like, yes, I, I said what I said and it was stupid. Um, anyway, so let's go back. I just want to like uh, go through, I kind of just like wrote this out. So I didn't the points. I want to make sure that I, um, you know, that I will, that I go through everything here. And, you know, obviously I've, I've learned lessons through this. I, you know, I realized that I had a really rocky like entrance into this community and you know, I didn't put my best foot forward and that's fine. Like it is what it is. I can't change it. I can't change the path. The only thing I can do is apologize for that mistake. So I, I have gone to the person that I lived into this at the very beginning and told her, hey, I just want you to know I said some shitty things and I want you to know that I'm really sorry that I put you in a position where you were uncomfortable. And I spoke my piece to her because she was the person I felt I owed the apology to because she didn't deserve to be roped into my drama of being petty and stupid, right? So we, we all grow. We all learn. Um, you know, and I, I felt in that moment when people kept talking about how awful and terrible I was, that um, I was not, I wasn't given a lot of grace or compassion in that situation. And that's what I think took me away from the community and made me introspective and start to focus on my, my own channel, start to focus on myself and just take a step back. And so all of this was also happening. And I'm not saying this is an excuse. I'm saying this was happening in my personal life. All of this was happening when my grandfather had passed away. And so I was feeling <laughs> very alone in that moment. I knew I would cry. So I was having a really, really vulnerable moment, a really, really tough time. And when somebody close to you passes away, kind of like just wrecks your brain, you know? I need a moment. Anyway, so I was, 
I was in the hotel at, at my grandfather's funeral and I got a call from someone who I thought was a friend at the time who was in tears because she was kicked out of an event that she was supposed to be hosting for also sharing, for, for sharing these thoughts. Like, like I said, I shared those thoughts with one person. She shared those thoughts with one person. So we knew exactly who was talking behind the scenes because they're the only people that we shared these you know, thoughts and feelings to. So I was, like I said, I was in the hotel when she called me and said that this happened. And I was like, I'm heartbroken for you because no one gave me or her the benefit of the doubt when we made a mistake. We made mistakes. Like, it's stupid, like I said. But we weren't given that benefit of the job, and that's what, what really hurt, right? So very shortly after is when I made whip and chat numero seven. Um, and so whip and chat number seven. <laughs> whip and chat number seven was um, the was the, I don't know, it put me on the map and it pissed a lot of people off. And I'm really sorry for that. Um, because some of the things that I said in that whip and chat really got misconstrued, which sucked. Um, one of the things that I said in that whip and chat was that, like, I just didn't feel welcome in the community. And the, the reason that I didn't feel welcome in the community was during live chats, like when we're having these conversations, right? Um, there were so many inside jokes that just kept flying through. And look, I I have been I have been since I was a kid. I've been bullied, <laughs> and so I know how to deal with bullies. At this point. I'm fine. I'm I'm good. Like I can, I can handle it. I'm strong. I'm independent. I don't. You know, I, I, I'm good. My whole thing was, um, sorry, I'm getting off track. No one was bullying me at this time. I just want to make sure you guys know that. Um, I've, I, what I was trying to say was that I've never been part of any cool crowd. Okay? That's all. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> it's like, I never really felt included. So we all have trauma, right? It's part of the reason why we freaking freaking done it, because we all have trauma, right? We've, we've all, we're doing this because we have anxieties and we have issues. And um, did I rope some of that into this? Yeah, I did. I treated it with any compassion and respect, but I didn't feel like it at the time. You know? um, and so I, when I was in a lot of the lives, because I saw that that was the way that I had to grow my channel. Um, and I learned that that was not the way that um, that I had to grow my channel. <laughs> that the way to grow my channel was to provide um, um, quality, right? Um, and that's what I changed my focus to after that. And I did grow my channel and I found all of you wonderful people. Um, so, sorry. So off track. Anyway, so like I said, um, I'm going back through. Oh, so when I said that the community was clicky, it really hit a nerve with a lot of people. And I, and we're, we're past talking to them about it. So, yes. Um, when I said in that whip and chat that the community was clicky, that uh, that, like I said, that really struck a nerve with a lot of people um, because there was one particular person within that group who did everything that they could to make me feel included. And, and I realized that she was upset, but it wasn't about her. Like, and, and, and what, what all I was trying to say is that in those live chats, like, there was always a lot of inside jokes, people just talking back and forth. And it made people like me who were new feel so freaking out of the loop. And it was really hard to connect. And, and that's all I was saying. 
Um, and that's literally all I was saying is like, I didn't feel welcomed in that sense. And I, I just needed to take a step back, you know, and really like redefine my focus. Um, and, and that's all I was saying in that open chat. Um, but then on top of that, one of the things that I was also talking about were events. And um, so I do feel like these words kind of got misconstrued as well, um, that I, I felt, and, and I, I gave the disclaimer so many times in that whip and chat, saying that I am not saying that this is reality. I am saying this is how I feel. And the fact that, that, that people attacked me for like my feelings versus like, I was not saying it was reality. And I, that, that, that's what I just can't, I'm trying to wrap my brain around that even to this day that I said, so many times, you know, I'm not saying that this is reality. I'm saying this is how I feel. And I felt at the time that the events were really commercial. It was just like sponsorship, sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. And I was overwhelmed. Like, that's all I was saying. As that was overwhelmed by the events that I needed to take a step back. Um, and that, that, like, and I even said in there, I believe, that it doesn't, you know, never do an event again. I just said, be careful of the events that you choose to participate in and make sure you feel good about them because I wasn't feeling good about them at the time. And so that's all I was sharing with that. Um, so I, I am allowed to change those feelings and those thoughts over time. And it's been months since I made that. So yeah, I am sponsoring events. And I can admit that as a small shop owner, sponsoring events is a way to get your name out in the community in a helpful way, by also, but also to provide something fun for people to look forward to hopefully winning. Like that's where my head and my heart are at. It's like calling me a hypocrite just felt, that was a lot anyway. And I don't know, I, 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 you know, it. I just feel like we're allowed to change your mind. Um, but anyway, so at that whole time, I just kind of took a step back and I focused on my channel and I focused on you guys. And so I thought, I thought there was, so in all of this, in all of this, people were saying some real nasty things about me about me in lives, in, in other comments, in, in other venues, in other whatever avenues, people were saying awful stuff. And I kept my mouth shut and I just kept my, kept my eyes down on the ground and just kept doing what I wanted to do. And that was content and spending time with the folks who spend, spend, I'm with me and support me. And that's what I did. I, I just, I focused on y'all and that's what I tried to do. Um, I tried to focus on making quality content. Um, I've been accused of stealing videos and I'm not sure where that came from. If there is a video that I stole from someone again, it's, that's a freaking coincidence because I don't know of any that have somebody's idea of a video. Like there's only so many things that you can do with diamond painting videos, guys, like, um, I don't know. Anyway, um, it just kept happening. Mean things kept being said. And like I said, there was one person who reached out to me and to her, I, I respected that. And we had a really long conversation until freaking two o'clock in the morning. And I thought, I thought that we had smoothed some stuff over. I thought that I explained myself. I thought that I had done the right thing in, you know, I, <laughs> I thought I was, someone told me to hug cat. I feel like I'm doing too right now. Anyway, 
I thought I was doing the right thing, guys. I really did. Um, she and I had a discussion for a really long time. I did a thought we had smoothed some things over. And then I saw nasty stuff being said about me in other people's lives. Uh, you know, a joke within the community of the uh, diamond painting cult um, because I called it a click. Uh, just so many things. Um, it, it was a lot. And I kept my mouth shut. Uh, and I, I, I just just kept doing what I was doing. Right? Um, and I, honestly, I thought it had blown up. I thought that the hate was done. I thought, it was, I thought we were done. And I, just kind of accepted. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be everybody. I'm, I, that's fine. No, not everybody has to like me because I felt that way when I was 10. <laughs> um, I don't feel that way anymore. Wrong woman. The only person whose opinion I care about my mom is and, and my husband and my cats. So, uh, anyway. I'm working on it. <laughs> anyway, so I thought it had blown over. And then I saw more stuff. <laughs> you know I'm reading this chat, guys. Anthony, you can't do that to me. <laughs> he said, I dare one of you to make a cross country skiing video. Sorry, I had to bring some for a second. I don't ever that. I always need it. Um yeah, because guys, at the end of the day, Jesus, it's not that serious. We're sticking some little pieces of freaking plastic. To a sticky thing with another sticky thing. Like, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> like, why? Why does it need to? Why do we need to boil our community down to this anyway? Um, uh, cat opinions matter. They really do. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I thought it blown blown over. I really did. Um. And then after getting bullied and alive, I was literally co-hosting. I was like, wow, it's not over. It's still happening. Um, mind you, none of these people who were blaming me reached out to me to tell me they were upset with me. Yeah, drink something. Great, great point. I have tea. Um, anyway, uh, the irony. Um, none of these people talked to me. None of these people reached out to me. Um, one of the people who's been bullying me mercilessly um, is angry, and I'm I'm gonna address this because it's really crazy. Is angry that I blocked them on Instagram despite never having talked to them. And what I would like to say to that is that doesn't make me weak. That makes me strong for setting boundaries and curating my space so that I don't have to continue seeing negative comments about me. So if you're wondering where that came from, that is where it came from. Um, anyway, so that's why you're really curious, curious um, and you could have reached out to me about that too, if you really wanted to know. Um, but yeah, uh, so yes, I um, posted a video then about um, making putty because I figured out how to make the putty and I figured out that that putty guys I just want to talk I know chemistry is not everybody's favorite subject chemistry was my least favorite subject okay <sighs> um, chemistry was my least favorite subject but I will I'm going to give you guys a quick chemistry lesson the putty this stuff this stuff it's called mastic putty, okay? It's called a pressure-sensitive adhesive. Pressure-sensitive adhesives have polymers in them that when they're pressed together, they hold things, okay? And when they're pulled apart, they don't hold things anymore. 
No one's making this in the kitchen, guys. They're buying it and they're adding fragrant oil to it. That's all I was trying to say. Some of them work better than others. Some people have figured out that you can add fragrance oil to them and you can add other ingredients so that it doesn't compromise the structural integrity of said putty. That would be me. Okay. I did a lot of research on this product. Yeah, I said some nasty freaking things. They were stupid. Okay. I'm saying it again. I said some stupid shit. I did not because I wasn't a business owner, right? Because I was not a business owner, I did not understand all of the work that goes into owning an Etsy shop. So I said stupid stuff out of ignorance and blissful ignorance, right? Um, anyway, so um, yeah. So I just, I, 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 I was angry at that time because I, I wanted people to understand that, that people weren't putting, um, you know, making polymer rubber compounds in their kitchen that, you know, just because they weren't doesn't mean the product isn't made. Because let me tell you, I spend hours <laughs> mixing fragrance oils and putties, okay? And I do it because I love it. It brings me joy, okay? I did a lot. Like I said, I did a lot of research and I spent a lot of money. And my original intent was not to open a shop. Um, my original intent was just to make my own putty. And then I spent so much money figuring out how to make my own putty. And then I realized how much work I put into it. And I was like, you know what? I have a lot of really fun ideas for this putty and I want to take it to a different place. So when I opened my shop, I had original ideas that were my own. Um, I had the idea of putting, oh, sorry, I got like really worked up there, but then I get angry. Um, anyway, so I had ideas that were my own and um, I stand by the fact that my, you know, yeah, there's a million people out there who are making, you know, down the body. I really, truly, firmly believe that there's room for all of us in the community. And I saw, you know, I saw an opportunity and I took that opportunity, which was, um, you know, I love mystery things. I buy mystery stuff all the time. Y'all see me unbox it zillion times on my channel and I was like what if we had a mystery putty scent and a corresponding cover binder that wasn't an idea that I stole from somebody else that was my own idea and I put it on my shop and then I expanded that idea and started putting bundles of putty and corresponding cover binders together and that wasn't my own idea that I put on my shop um and I think there was a lot of people talking about I don't have my own original ideas and um, that's not true. <laughs> so, you know, I just, like I said, wanted to share with you that I, I do have my own ideas. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, but yeah, so the, the, the putty that I am making I figured out an ingredient to add to it as well um, that uh, doesn't compromise the structural integrity. So I, can add more of this. so I can add more of this ingredient to provide a nice, stiff, firm putty with a really nice, strong smell. So I worked really hard to develop that. Um, and yeah, um, from there, from there. Um, just kind of reading I want to like I just want to make sure I address and hit as many of the topics because there was just a lot of things said about me <laughs> and so I want to hit those as best as I can to make sure that I provide some explanation um and start with the next one and I'm gonna go back oh um on that video about making the putty um I think some people made some really blatant assumptions that I was trying take down another shop 
when I made that video. And that was not my intention. Um, and had people actually watched the entire video, I said at one point in that video, there's two ways you can go with this. One is if you don't have a lot of money and you want to make your own putty at home, you want to make a lot of putty of one set, this is the way to go. Okay. If I if but what I said in that video, <clears throat> what I said in that video also was if you're if what you want to do is collect a lot of sets of money, then go support those smaller shops. That's exactly what I said in that video. That's what I what I said in the video was go support the smaller shops. That video was in no way. Was there any intent to take down a shop? It was really just a way to share for somebody who is on a budget, can't collect a bunch of stuff, and wants to make it at home. Here's how you do it. And it was also just kind of taking that veil down of like, hey, we're not, we're not, I do use my KitchenAid mixer for putty all the time, don't get me wrong. I use it to flatten my putty, but I am not mixing <laughs> rubber rubber compounds and um, and fragrant foils in my kitchen or at home. Um, anyway, so, oh, okay. So this is kind of bringing me to like November. <laughs> We're in November now. It's been months since the original thing happened. And anyway, um, there was a live on Jenny's channel the night of Black Friday. And I did, I did, Amber said, I can confirm that. That is exactly what I said because I just watched that video. Um, um, so I'm going to get to, I'm going to get to everything up to the current time, just FYI. Um, so the live on Jenny's channel, uh, they were saying that I promoted my shop. I honestly, it's been so long since that happened. That's the first I've heard that anyone was upset that I promoted anything. Um, no one, again, no one reached out to me personally and spoke to me and asked me or let me know, like, hey, that was in poor taste. Hey, you're not supposed to do that. Like, I was like, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember it. Um, and actually, when I was on that live, um, where I believe somebody, asked me if I, someone asked me because my shop was opening the very next day. Um, and yeah, cause it was Black Friday and my shop opened on Small Business Saturday. So yeah, um, I believe I'm, I may have you know, put a link there because it, again, I can't remember. And so if that was done in poor taste, I really apologize, I didn't know. Um, and actually, while I was on that live, I, I, I bought something from Jenny's shop while I was on that live um, to make sure that she knew that I supported her. So um, that is something that happened. Um, and speaking of, when I bought said thing from her shop, that was the first night that I found out about Jenny's shop. So it was probably not the best idea for me to have gone on a live of someone's channel I didn't know. Um, and she didn't know me either. Like we hadn't been to each other. All she had heard was the hearsay that that everyone was, you know, obviously discussing in that in that live. Um, which again is is all hearsay. Um, no one has spoken to me about any of it. Um, but yeah. So I have a scent on my uh, channel. I have a scent on my on my my Etsy shop called Unicorn Heart. Apparently, that scent is Jenny's signature scent. Um, I did not know that. They like to claim that I know that, but I don't know how I would have known that. Um, when I first launched it, someone mentioned it on my live when I launched the scent. And then I Googled it because the crazy part is I remember talking to a friend who's actually in this chat right now. I remember talking to a friend and I was like, it smells like a unicorn fart. I'm going to name it that. And I, I just named it unicorn fart. I did not 
realize that if you go online and you Google unicorn farts fragrance, you know, that's a thing. It's a thing that you can buy and um, use to send things. Um, so it's not trademarked. Um, it's not copyrighted or protected, but um, I didn't realize that that was a thing. I just named it unicorn farts. I honestly, I really did. I use a totally different fragrance oil. The scent is not the same. Someone else who has purchased unicorn farts from her shop and also from mine said that ours smell nothing alike. Um, so I decided just so nobody is upset about it, I'm going to rename the unicorn farts on my channel and they're going to be unicorn farts. Okay. So we're just going to have some air coming out the other end and it's still going to smell delicious. It's going to be the same exact freaking scent that comes out of their butts. True. Um, so yeah. So um, unicorn farts is what I am renaming it. Um, I also have not heard from anybody that that scent, um, that, that she was upset about that. I didn't know. Uh, no one reached out to me about that. So, um, unicorn burps it is. I do, I have it right here behind me. I should be packing orders right now is what I should be doing, but I felt like this is the dressing. Um, I do have some inventory of some unicorn burps right here, and I am not going to re-sticker these. These are going to be the last unicorn farts ever from Mary Making Craft. So, um, There'll be unicorn perks moving forward. So, you know, I don't know. If you want a new label, let me know and I'll, I'll mail you one. Um, and, um, yeah, so Love and Sparkles, is that's a really great point. Um, I hate to tell people that not everyone knows what everyone is doing and they may not watch. Um, that is very true. And I did not know. Um, and because... It was that whole thing of like, I just need to take a step back and focus on myself. I, I, I loved YouTube, but then I, I, I got angry with it <laughs> and I took a step back and I stopped watching other people's stuff. And I just, like I said, I focused on the things that I loved doing, which was making buddy, making, you know, hanging out with you guys and, and just creating create fun labels to have a good time. And so that's what I was doing. Anyway, so again, like I said, nobody contacted me about that. I didn't know. Last night, first night I had heard of anybody being upset about it. Um, Lauren said she just got to buy some unicorn parts. It might be a collector's item one day. Um, <laughs> and well, now you might need to buy one of the unicorn parts and you um, Okay, so. Um, that brings us, I feel like, kind of to our current situation. Let me just, I, what I have been accused of is absolutely ridiculous and not possible. I, I just don't know how it would be possible. So... The current situation, as you know, I announced on Saturday morning that I was working on scented glue dot. Good Lord, I'm tired, you guys. Um, I announced that I was working on scented glue dots. On Thursday night, during Jenny's live, where she apparently the same information, I was flying on the unit from Chicago to Florida. Um, and I... There was also some mentioning in the chat about how I made travel videos but wasn't actually traveling. And I don't, I don't know what that was about, and I, I'm really, I'm really confused because I don't know what that means. Um, I I was traveling. I I travel a lot, and I I don't think I would have lied about traveling if, if it's about my honeymoon. I, I did travel to Italy. I did go there. But I'm just trying to find my I'm like, do I have my boarding pass still? Because I was on a flight. I was on a freaking flight. Um, yep, here we go. Here it is. Um, here's the arrival 
I arrived at the Punta Gorda airport at 10.45 p.m. Thursday, February 2nd. I don't know why I would take travel. I don't know what that's about. I, I'm not sure. I, I'm just, I, I saw it said, and maybe I misread it. That's possible. Um, I, I don't know. Um, let's see. And I just thought that if it if it's about if it's about my honeymoon, maybe that's maybe that's my fake travel. But I just thought I'd like really quick show you guys this is my favorite picture in the world. Um, this was on my birthday. Here was us in a Venetian gondola. Hello. I mean, I know I don't have anything to prove, but I don't understand the fake tra travel thing. I. Anthony, you do not cart snatch the last seven unicorn cards. Shut your mouth. Um, okay. And then, hang on. This, I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. Um, I'm like, here's all our honeymoon pictures. Like, it's real. We were there. Here's me, like, stuffing my face in St. Martin's Square and um, gelato. Um, we went to Disney World Paris and I giggled at the fact that Buzz Lightyear said something in French and it cracked me up. Okay. French Buzz Lightyear. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm confused. And I don't know if maybe that was the travel video. Look, we saw the Mona Lisa. It's actually way smaller than I thought it would be. Um, I don't understand. Um, Venus, uh oh, I showed boobies on the channel. Um, I don't know. It, it, here we are at the um, here we are at the Eiffel Tower. We're gonna hot. Uh, we are at the top of the Eiffel Tower having champagne. I mean, I'm like, I don't know. I, 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 I don't make fake travel videos. I really didn't travel. I just haven't had the time to um, post anything about it. <laughs> Anthony, did you really buy the last? You did not buy the last unicorn farts. Yes, you did. You should um, put them in collector's box cases. You turd. Maybe I'll like put them out as special. No, you know what? We're getting nasty now. I don't want to get nasty. I'm not about that life. I, we, we got stuff to do. We have things to do, okay? Things to discuss. Um, so yeah. The current situation, I got this idea in motion for a hot minute. I believe at some point I said something about these blue dots on my channel, whether it was in the um, whether it was in a whipping chat or in a live or I don't even remember when it was, but I know I said something. Uh, but I got the idea in motion towards January. So if, if the claim here is that we want to be the OG, that's fine. Be my guest. I don't care. But guys, oh, there is room for all of us. There's room for literally, well, in the drop video yesterday, but I'm saying before that, I mentioned it at some point before. Um, before the drop video yesterday. So. I did the drop video yesterday. I had no idea. I did not know. Because, like I said, I was on a plane flying to um, Florida um, after we lost my grandmother last July. My grandmother is alone and she's 88 years old and an amazing, amazing woman. <sighs> my grandmother has literally in 65 years of marriage <laughs> in 60, 65 yeah 65 years of marriage has literally never never felt alone 
and she were eight so I visited my parents and my grandmother on Friday I was making bread with my grandma and we made uh we made pizza with that. Um, you know again not that I owe anybody any proof but I was I don't know how I would have taken her idea while I was on a plane or on Friday and then taken my idea. And then I flew back today, mind you. I flew back just a few less than a couple hours ago while I was in a plane and now I'm here. I don't know how I would have taken that idea and created glue dots amount of time but the speculation was there I guess and everybody was very angry and um anyway here's the little here's here's my sample by the way um right now I haven't colored them yet so I don't even know can you see them like yeah you can see them there they are hello there's my dots okay they're not as pretty as regular glue dots but They'll be fun. I want to add color. That's my next thing that I'm going to be doing. Here they are. I don't. I don't know how I would have just made this tonight. I don't know. I have more of other glues that I tried. Here's some more. Here they are. Again, they're not perfectly round. I'm working on that. One of them is testing it out. Like I don't. Yeah, I stole the idea, guys. I, this doesn't make it just doesn't make sense. Sorry, I'm angry. Um, it's not possible, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I, I guess, yes. I, if I could time travel, man, did I get a glue on my finger? I sure as hell did. I was like, why is my phone speaking to me? Anyway, great, cool, cool. That's why we need to make it colored. Um, so I'm working on that. Um, Jimmy Simon said, you stated a while back you wanted to make these glue dots. Yeah, I thought I said something about them. I really did. I truly thought I said something about them. Um, so it, too many coincidences, I don't know. But again, uh, let me just, let me go back. Here's what I was doing on Friday. Here's my grandma. Bread dough. We were making some ass bread in a big old tub of fries, okay? Um, and then here's our pizza that we made and our breads that we made. This is what I was doing on Friday, okay? I wasn't watching any lives and speaking ideas. Um, yeah, so that's where that came from. I'm like, I'm trying to show you my receipts. I don't know what else to do. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody in that live also tried to say that I don't use Blue dots? I never said that. Anybody who's ever watched anything on my channel knows that I use blue dots in my single placer and putty in my multi placer always. Never fails. That's what I've always done. It's um it's what I've always done. I just don't I'm I'm like I literally said the other day um on that live is that the reason I got the I like I wanted to do the blue dots was so I could have the same set my single placer had in my multi placer. So yeah. You guys are going nuts on Etsy right now and I I freaking love you guys. You're the best. I just I love you. Um anyway, I have so many orders to pack for tomorrow that I don't even wanna I don't know. Um <clears throat> oh, where else? Where are we at? I don't know. I guess I think I'm I think I'm about done. If there's anything that I didn't <clears throat> there's the thank you. Um so I'm not in a rush to get these glue dots out. I'm not gonna open any orders for products that I don't have yet. I want to perfect it. I want some of my friends to really test it out for me and tell me what their thoughts and feelings are. Um, yeah, so I haven't decided what I'm going to call mine yet. Um, 
D-O-T-Z, what we were discussing in our live on Saturday has now been taken. So um, I don't know, maybe we can come up with something else and I, my army here can help me because um, you know, I don't want to be confused with stealing anybody else's names or their ideas. Um, and I think, I think out of all of this, what I've been trying to, you know, what I've, I've been trying to and realize is like, you know, my opening my Etsy shop and, and she can come and tell me if I'm wrong. I don't believe that I have hurt anybody else in doing so. I think I provided a, an item that, you know, you guys are enjoying and, and love and you're, you're here and you're just in, enjoying the product along with me and I'm enjoying it and I don't want to stop doing that. Anyway, so what I, I guess all of this comes down to say, I, I'm not going anywhere. Again, um, tops sounds sure. love, love. Um, anyway, <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I just, yeah, what was I going to say? Uh, I I am not a demon. I'm not I'm not a wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm a daughter. I'm a granddaughter. I'm a wife. I'm a person. And I don't deserve to be treated this way. And that is I guess where I'll leave things. Um because I'm hurt and I'm sad. Um and uh, and I did the best I could to tell you guys um, the best information that I could um, from you know from the get go. Um, I really honestly hope that's that was what I was trying to say before is that you know the the. apparently two shop owners at this point that I have hurt or upset. Um, you know, the first one if, that I said stupid shit about, um, you know, if you're watching this, this is for you. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, I really think that there's room for both of us in this community. Her shop is huge. Everyone loves her product. And that's fine. And my shop People can love my product too, and I, I truly believe that there's room for both of us. Um, I see so many people supporting her that also support me, and vice versa. So I think, you know, like I said, there's room for all of us. Uh, you know, I saw Jenny's product in her live in that live yesterday, and um, I think mine is going to be very similar. So. It's sounds like um, it sounds like we're gonna have a really good product. Um, oh, I wanted to mention that as well. Um, they did say that the only thing to do was to reach out to the person I found out, which is um, what I did actually for that live it went live yesterday. Um, I did not know that this was happening when um, I reached I reached out to friend in the community and said, hey, can I add some blue dots to your order? Can you test them out and tell me what you think? And she said, hey, do you know that Jenny's doing the same thing? And I said, wait, what? I didn't know. Um, I'm not the type of person who's just going to be like sitting here letting them go. When I found out about it, um, I reached out to her last night and I have not heard so, and that was before that live ever happened. Um, and I just reached out to her and said, hey, I announced on my live this morning that I was doing this thing and I heard that you were doing it too and I didn't know. Um, but, you know, FYI, it's happening and I'm, I'm really sorry. I hope it's not discouraging. I think we both have something, you know, I said, I'm not exactly sure what you're doing. I haven't seen your live yet, but I don't know. You know, I just said, hey, I don't know what 
what your product is like, but I would like to, you know, you know, I, I just said, you know, I wanted to let you know and have you hear it from me first, which apparently she had already heard it prior. Um, yeah. And so I did, I reached out to her, but I have not heard back. Um, yeah. So that is all I, I, that's about all I have to say. What a perfect hour. Um, <laughs> I only cried like three times, <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That would be really nice. I got a lot of um, thumbs down before this video ever started. So, um, yeah. So there's a lot of people who are just assuming that I'm um, being malicious and terrible. Um, and I'm, I just don't understand that. I'm, again, I'm, I'm not a demon. I, I, I saw the things that people were saying about me. Um, and yeah. Um, Cheryl asked, what was my favorite thing about my visit in Florida? Something to make you smile before leaving. Um, I'll show you actually. So, um, my grandmother, my mom's mom, um, like I said, doesn't travel much, has never traveled alone. And, um, my mom has a cousin down there. Um, let's see. Um, my mom has a cousin down there who she, sorry, I'm like so distracted, um, who his mom is my grandma's sister and they surprised her and showed up. And this is the two of them hugging. So that's my, my grandma and my grandma's sister. So my grandma is the one in, in, not in the brown. Anyway. Oh, and yeah. Here I am with my Italian family. Um, that was me. And that's my mom. We look identical. And then that's my dad, and that's my grandma, and that's uh, my grandma's sister, and her kids. That's it. So that made me smile, and it was wonderful, and I loved um, spending that time with my family. Um, and I will say, um, that's where I was when that live was happening. So I wasn't able to hear what was going on. I was only able to like read the comments, which honestly, I think the comments in that live hurt more <laughs> than the things that people were saying about me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, let me go back up. Yeah, it's, 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 it's wild. I just don't, I don't know. And I, I know that there's been a lot of drama with people copying. I think at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, you're responsible for you. And shop owners are responsible for their product. And like what I have done and what I encourage others to do is let your product speak for itself. Um, I'm doing. I think I think these stupid little bags back here that bring me so much joy. They speak for themselves. They're adorable, and y'all love them. And, you love them and it is what it is, right? Um, I I don't I don't know. Um, I think you know, like I said, I think we all have something to offer the community that's unique. I think we all decide who we want to support, um, you know, and if people want to support jerks, let them do it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't, I know you guys are here for me and it, it's all I need. Um, what I wanted to do though, was just like step on here and make sure that, that I, 
you know, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't feel like I owed it to anybody else but myself and to the people who were supporting me to just like to sit down and talk with you guys real talk to be vulnerable. So, huh, um, yeah, and, and thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that. He said the hard work, time, and dedication put into my products is apparent. Every time I open something, you have nothing to worry about. Exactly. And, you know, I, I do work really hard. Um, that being said, I work a little too hard right now <laughs> um, because I have this thing where I don't like to be a disappointment ever. And so I hate feeling like, um, I don't have inventory when people want things. And it makes me really sad because I know when it's like I know when I want something and I'm frustrated I could, didn't get my hands on it. Um, and I'm like, ah, oh, just make more. Make this thing that I want, you know. Um, I can't tell you how many times people reach out to me and they're like, you know, I'm just using a, a system for example. Are you going to bring grapes back? And I'm like, you just told out yesterday. Like, I can't make it every week. And so, um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but I just encourage you to, you know, as somebody who's had to do this for a while, guard your heart, be careful who you trust. Be careful saying stupid shit to the wrong people. I'm so sorry for lack of better words. Like, you know, we've all got opinions. And, you know, they're not worth the paper we write them on. And, um, you know, if there's something that you want to share, you have thoughts or feelings, just make sure that you're sharing those with people that you trust um, and people who really, truly have your back. Um, you know, be careful. It's don't, don't share stupid opinions. They'll bite you in the butt. <laughs> That's what I've learned from all of this. Um, and, you know, I've also learned what it, that it takes a lot of chops. Um, it takes a lot of chop to, uh, to own a shop and, um, it's been a lot. I've learned a lot and I've loved it too. So I have really enjoyed working, um, working with all of you guys and doing this. Uh, I think they're like, I miss my husband right now. <laughs> I'm like, I never see my husband anymore. Um, and he's kind of sad about that. And so am I. So I, you know, I just want, I need to find a balance because I don't, I really truly do not diamond paint anymore. I love um, doing the shop and it's really like, honestly, doing the shop is bringing me more joy than even diamond painting did at some point which is like it's the god's honest truth and you know i think we should all just be able to pursue our passions but at the same time i do miss like sitting down it's like really cathartic for me to sit down once a week and talk to you guys so i do um i do want to get back to some whip and chats but if i'm gonna do that then it means that i need to yeah just i'm trying to find that balance i need to find the balance between Making enough inventory and um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, and 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 Nicole said finding a work life balance is really hard when you own a business. And for me, I didn't intend on owning a business. That was the other thing is that you know I I just wanted to make sure I address this as well. We're all allowed to change our minds, and I made that putty video, I really did not have any intention of selling it. I didn't. Um, and then I got ideas that I wanted to share, like the mystery pack and the bundled cover minders that I have seen in anyone else's shop. Again, those were my ideas. And, um, you know, I wanted to make sure that, I, like, I just I got excited about those ideas. And I had no idea that this shop would turn into what it has. And it's turned into that because of you guys. So thank you. <laughs> um, and, and also, I want to make sure that I also mention, after all of this shit went down, I was absolutely devastated. I feel a lot better now, having spoken my piece and talked to you guys about it and just, 
like aired out the dirty laundry and apologized publicly, I do feel better. Um, I, but I want you to know how much it meant when every single one of you reached out to me personally and asked if I was okay and let me know that you have that. Um, that meant a lot. It really did. Um, I, I cannot tell you how much that meant. And so, yeah, I just thank you guys so much for being here for me and for, for just, you know, being a part of this community and, and, and just loving me and <laughs> giving me, giving me the great passion and respect that I think that we all deserve. Um, and yeah, that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> um, I just, I want to go back to some of the comments because I think they're um, really important. Um, Lauren just said, I wouldn't comment on the I don't post videos or anything, but I'm on, I'm glad I'm on this side of the community. Um, me too, because, you know, I, I think, I think that there's some nasty things that we could have said tonight <laughs> and we're not those people, I'm not going to do it. And I don't want you guys to stoop to that level. And I'm not going to. Um, you know, I, I don't have time for it. <laughs> I, mean, I just don't. I, I, like I said, I'm a, I'm a business owner. A, a business owner is not a thing that I like even know how to call myself at this point. It's, it's so new. I'm like business. Put that in quotation. I don't even know. Um, but I love doing this. And so it brought a different joy in my life that I never thought I'd have. <laughs> and so, yeah, anyway. Um, I'm glad that I have this part of this community. Um, but I mean, thanks to everybody in chat for being respectful. Doesn't deserve to be treated like she has been. Yeah, thank you. I, 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 <laughs> I think, you know, like I said, I think I made mistakes, but um, I don't think that I deserve to be, to be, to be villainized, villainized. I feel like it happened. Um, yeah, Sherilyn said, I remember right before you launched your shop, you said you honestly didn't think you'd sell much. I really didn't. I just, I really thought like just the like, little bit of stuff that would just kind of come on and do your thing. Um, I will say I would probably um, like kind of take a step back from sponsoring events. So if you reached out to me about sponsoring an event, um, I, I I might have to say no at this point, just because a lot of times sponsoring the events is about getting more sales into the shop. And I love you guys. Oh, I don't need it right now because you guys are all doing such a great job supporting me <laughs> that I can literally can't make enough product at this point. Um, so yeah, I do. I do wish that we all just meet in person and hang out um and, and really get to know each other and i think i think that's another thing too there's a human element that gets removed from all of this um when everybody's behind it right and that's part right um yeah anyway anyway <laughs> Um, I'm going to just, I'm going back through reading. Yes. You are truly beautiful people. I, that is, um, thank you. I appreciate it. I love all of you guys. You're amazing. I am going to head off of here. Um, somebody said that I should do a live order packing. And I do think that might be fun. Um, Maybe we'll do that. <laughs> um, yes. So if you could give this video a thumbs up, like I said, I got lots of thumbs down before it even started, but I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go like breathe and um, just, I'm going to go cry happy cries now because you guys made me feel really loved tonight and I really appreciated it. I definitely need it, and I, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. 
Yes, self care. I think I'm going to have some more of this tea because it's delicious. I just said I ignored my diamond painting to be here. Now I feel loved. Um, I didn't feel loved before, but now I do know. Um, no, get back to it. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Um, I, I love you all and you're amazing. And I hope you have a really great night and a really great rest of your weekend. And well, the weekend's over. I don't know. I'm tired. And thank you. I will be. We'll be a little late with orders this week because I didn't get to pack any tonight. But yes. thank you. I will see you guys here. I'm here if you need me or you just want to chat or whatever. I'm here. I love you guys. Have a great night. To all of my mods, again, thank you. And for those of you overseas, 5, 16 a.m., Angel, go to bed, okay? I love you. And thank you guys all for being here. Have a really wonderful, wonderful day. Tight. Bye.